What's up, YouTube brothers and sisters? It's your boy Waloose, the Fat Cog Bandit, back at it again with another tips and tricks video. All right, boys, we're on tip. Uh, we're on part number six, right? Um, we gotta lock it in. You know, I'm trying to give you these tips. I'm gonna give you a. Uh, this one is gonna be like defensively or uh, orient oriented. All right. Be sure um to uh, look out for the keyword. There's gonna be a keyword somewhere in here. Make sure you guys DM me that in Discord. You'll win twenty dollars. But you have to be following me on Kick and in my Discord. Both of those links will be um, pinned in the comments below. Okay? Shh. All right, for tip number two is Tiandi. I know Tiandi's mad broken and shit, but there's actually a good tip to get some uh, some heavy damage in. You know, he, it's a lot of light, a lot of bashes, but um, I'm going to show you how to get some big damage in, right? So you know with, with Tiandi, he got nerfed. After you land a bash light, you can't bash again and not be interrupted. I'm going to show you guys. So bash light, I can be interrupted, right? It trades, but the bash does no damage. But if you're Tiani and you're making the read, read meaning if you think they're going to light stuff, your second bash, what you can do is you can get a heavy attack into the kick mix. That's like his most um his most vicious uh mix, right? So remember, after bash light, go for the heavy. That's how you get big damage in, okay? Tip number, wait, this is actually tip number one. I got to change the tips around, but it's okay, YT. We're locked in, okay? All right, for tip number two, when you're fighting Valkyrie out there, you have to understand their um their best way to get damage is um like the, uh you know light into the uh, the bash mix right or just heavy like this or even zone into that right if you're smart and you see them going into the shield mode uh into the bash a lot all you gotta do is guard break on the heavy so she's gonna light me and then go into her shield mix right so light me heavy I see the heavy I just guard break now if she now just let that heavy go so light heavy light heavy you you gonna eat that motherfucker. If, if they don't go to the shield, alright? Alright, do zone. Do, uh, do zone into uh, the uh, the bash. So zone, I think they're gonna shield or whatever the bash. You can just guard break that. It's a free GB and you get the damage going. Also, if they buffer the bash, you won't win on the guard break. But nine times out of ten, the Valkyrie's gonna wait until you dodge or dodge attack and then get the confirmed uh, bash, right? That's tip number two on how to fight Valk. Alright, you two for tip number one. I'm gonna show you how to counter backlight CCs from Highlander. Shit's mad safe, mad annoying. But what you do is, if they're going to heavy um CC a heavy, what you want to do is you want to heavy faint that uh you want to faint the heavy and then light. Do not change your guard. All right. So right now she's not gonna know if I'm gonna throw the heavy or if I'm gonna faint to light. But she's supposed to CC every time. I'm gonna show you guys right now. There's the CC. Make sure you uh, back walking it. There's the CC. Those are a little early. Heavy faint light. That's a trade. I, I'm telling you, she's a little early. Trade. Let me try this. There you go, right? That was a, a good CC. I just taught her how to CC, though. She didn't even do side, uh, uh, side light, you know. She, she just learned how to CC. Swear to God, YouTube. But like this, right? What you want to do is heavy faint light. CC it? Bro, she's literally not even see. Watch, watch. I can't wait. Hold on. I promise you, YouTube. She's not back walking. Get over here, please! There you go, right? Alright, to be back CCs, I don't know if it's um if it's regular CCs. Um I know for sure it's the back one. It should be regular, right? Um don't walk backwards. Let me see it really fast. I didn't press like because I'm uh, I'm done. She's not even CCing right there. Holy shit! There you go, there you go, I'm telling you. Heavy vein light beats the CC attempts. Okay, tip number one. All right, YouTube, tip number four. This is a very a high level tip, and you have to remember, on some characters, it won't work. Like, I know for sure, you can do it on Orochi, but goddamn, that bitch was hard. So what you're gonna do is, you're gonna, you're gonna heavy on light timing from neutral, right? So if she throws a light attack, I'm gonna parry it. If she throws a heavy attack, I'm gonna heavy, soft faint, dodge, and deflect it. You can do that on Kensei, Yorm, Warden, uh, who else, man, Highlander. So I'm gonna show you. Um, she's not gonna tell me if she's gonna throw a light or a heavy. I'm just gonna heavy on red. All right, go ahead. I parry that, right? Parry that, right? Deflect. So I'm parrying on light timing. I'm deflecting. Uh, I'm soft fainting to deflect the heavy. This is tip number four. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you know Baraki, dog would spam this. I, 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 I ain't got no reactions, but you already seen, right? Oh my God, Baraki, I can't focus. There we go, right? This is. <gasps> I froze! 
Bruce, we're back. One more time. Do it heavy now. Tip number four, man. Try to parry on light timing, soft feint, deflect on the heavy, all right? Tip number four, don't be telling, don't tell nobody that tip, okay? It's very, very high level. And then, yes, I have dodge on back button, all right? Tip number four. <clears throat> all right, for tip number five, I want you guys to at least utilize um, bashing into variable bash charts. So Shinobi has a really good bash. Warden has a variable time. So if you're fighting Warden, Warmonger, Scent, which you are, or Hito, what you want to do is you want to bash into their bash. There's a lot of reasons why, because it forces them to always commit to their level one or faint their level one side dodge and, and, and try to punish. A lot of the times they can't even get a guard break off of that. So you're making their chain offense a defensive read. All right, so watch. She's going to double light me and try to, uh, I'm just going to bash her, right? So double light. No guard break. Level three, uh, level three me. Double light, level three. She goes for the level three bash. I win. Right, I win right there. Now she goes for the level one. Go for level one. Level one, yeah, she's gonna win. She can't level one. It's very hard for this lad. Level one bash me! Please! There's a level one. That's like level two. All right, so now what she's gonna try and do is she's gonna try and faint level one. Making her read, I'm gonna bash her level one. And then try to guard break me, all right? So double light, faint your level one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't even guard break that. Can't even guard break that, all right? So when every, so you guys need to remember, if you have a good bash, bash their level, uh, bash their variable bash. All right, that's tip number five. It turns their chain into defensive reads in, 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 instead of like offensive. All right, for tip number six, I'm gonna teach you guys how to emote tech. Why emote tech? Because um, the mental damage, you can't come back from the mental, all right? So, um, you know, you can do it from neutral. I messed it up. You can do it from neutral. I feel like it's a lot easier doing it off of faint. You know, faint of unblockable, right there, right? You can faint side, or just dodging. Let's say you go like this, you dodge, emo tag, right? How to do it? You wanna dodge left or right? Left or right, while you're dodging, you need to un uh, hold down on the, on, the, on the left stick and unlock. After you do that, you press Y, to emo and then you have to relock. All right. So right now, so during the dodge, I'm holding down and I'm unlocking. Wait, I sold. Yeah. So during the dodge, you unlock, you hold, you walk backwards. Unlock, walk backwards. As soon as you press Y, he's gonna turn around. The relock keeps him turned around. You're gonna have to practice it. Don't cry if you don't get it on the first try. But don't do it from neutral like this. That's the hardest, right? So like, um, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna faint this, and then she's gonna throw a, a light attack, right? I can't, I, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. I can't emotech some fucking shit. There you go. If you're a TikToker, that's all you need right there, right? Do that, emotech. Wait till I got them, turn around, Dicky. We're locked in. That's how you emotech. One more time, dodge. During the dodge animation, walk backwards, unlock. After you have those both done, you emote. You will turn around to emote. The relock keeps you. It keeps you um uh, turned backwards. Also, 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 you need to understand, not every default emote, you can't emote tech with every one of them. So what I want you to do is practice it on Orochi's default. Once you know how to do it, then go to your main and try to do it. If you can't do it, that means that emote you can't emo tech with. I don't know why. There's some emo say you can, some that you can. All right, tip number six. All right, for tip number seven, if you ever fight a Nusha, if you ever fight a Nusha and you're out of stamina, that is very not good. All right, um, you know, it's gonna be a heavy or a trap or a faint to GB. What you wanna do though, in my opinion, bro, every time you see a heavy, you have to dodge away from it. That forces them to have to um feign it to GB. Now they can throw you on the ground. Sure, they're gonna get a lot of damage, right? But at least you'll have your stand back. All right, so watch. She's gonna throw heavy or just throw traps. I just dodge away last second. Go ahead. And she's delaying these heavies. You just dodge away. Why do you dodge away and not into it? Right? So watch. Throw a trap. Yes. Uh, if you guys didn't know, if you dodge in, so like I used to try to option select the heavy. I would deflect the heavy, or if it was a trap, you know, your guard is gone when you dodge, right? So, like, technically the trap shouldn't work, but it does. Watch. Throw heavy or throw trap. See, I tried to deflect that. 
Right? That's why you always don't. That's why you always dodge away from the heavy. It beats the heavy and it beats the trap. So um, just just spam uh, just spam heavier trap. You just dodge away from him, right? No, I'm shit. I gotta use my brain now. She's changing the direction. She's cheating. I'm shit. Hold on. I gotta lock it in. She's changing up the speed too, bro. She's delaying and buffering. Bro, she's actually making it hard. Just fucking. I'm gonna say that word. God! Whatever, bro. I lock it in. You gotta be turbo mode. Tip number seven. When you're out of stam, dodge away from the heavies. Forces them to GB. If they throw you down, your stam's back. If not, at least while your guard broken, you're recharging the stamina. Bro, there ain't no way she's delaying the fucking buffering. Alright, for tip number eight, we're gonna talk about Valk. Obviously, she, she has like a deflect, but it's really superior blocking. Same thing how to deflect, you just dodge into the attack last minute, and you throw a heavy attack, right? But you also can get a guard break off of a deflect, so throw a heavy attack. Right? You can get a guard break. Try to counter guard break. That does 24 damage. Try to counter guard break really fast. I can't deflect. It's very hard. I'm too old. Yes. Right? Yeah. So you get the guard break off of a deflect. Now, you can also get bleed. Uh, so throw heavy. I can't deflect! Alright. You get the deflect, right? And, and that's a chain starter into your mix, right? Now, I see a lot of people going for the guard break. I don't know why. Because the guard break, a heavy... It's 24 damage. A deflect, do it again. A deflect is 29 damage on Valkyrie. Now, I didn't know all that, bro. That motherfucking deflect is 29 damage. Bro, what? <laughs> but yeah. Now, uh, I would say, if the heavy will kill, go for the heavy, right? Because you still have to wait for that, that bleed to tick away, and maybe you'll die. Like, right now, a heavy won't kill. A heavy right here will not kill. But, um, let me, de uh, let me deflect you. Go ahead, throw heavy. That doesn't kill. But then you still get the chip. Now, wait, one more. Now she'll die, all right? Just um, tip number eight, you can get the guard break on deflect or the bleed on deflect. Guard break is 24 damage. The bleed on Valk is 29 damage. Tip number eight. All right, tip number nine for the Highlander means. I'm going to teach you guys how to exit um offensive stance with like a, a recovery tech um bug all right for example so if you're right here i'm in offensive uh, uh offensive uh mode whatever right so if i just dodge and i and so you want to dodge and then exit right look how long that takes right dodge exit it takes a long time but if you dodge change guard you reduce the recovery so i'm gonna dodge See how fast? It's way faster. That's how you get the TikTok Highlander light parries, right? They'll dodge, change guard, and you exit way faster. So I'm gonna show you now, all right? I'm gonna use that. Dodge. I'm shit. I literally just learned two minutes ago, so don't yell at me, okay? Let me lock it in. Let me get the juice flowing. There it is, daddy. Hey, you better simmer it down. So I'm gonna dodge, change guard, smashing that bitch, right? Dodge, change guard, parry. Now I'm gonna do it without changing guard. All right, same thing. No guard, I'm going like this. Do the light though, right? Oh yeah, shit, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do the same thing without the guard switch though. Dodge, exit. That best you can block it. Right? You wanna do that guard change. Dodge, change guard, smashing it. I'm gonna try and change my guard the other way too. Same side light though, you, yeah? Dude, I'm so good now. I might be a Highlander man now. Hold on. Try real fast. Dodge, change guard. There it is. I'm telling you, you want to dodge, guard swap, and then you exit. That's how you exit faster to get the light pairs. Also, um, you know, um, how to get how to bait out lights to get a parry as well. You want to do like an offensive light, emo, and then you can parry. I don't know why, bro. If you emo, you can get out of the guard a lot faster. All right? So light, emo. Oh, there's a timing, though. Trust. Right there. Right? Light, emo, out. Bang it, right? Light, emo. There it is. All right? So remember two things. What do you want to remember with this? To speed up the recovery on getting out of your offensive stance, you dodge. Change a uh, guard and then you press faint. And that's how you get the Timmy Talk light parries. Also, when you emo, 
and you faint, I don't know why, bro, you get out of there faster. And I don't want these fucking sped ass Highlander mains coming to my comments. I'm all, voila, you're saying it wrong. You're doing, I'm not doing it wrong. Shut your bitch ass up. Tip number nine. And the keyword is follow while lose Sean Keek. All right? DM me on Discord. All right, for, uh, for tip number 10, it is about Black Pryor's unblock, uh, his unblockable, and he has a pseudo infinite, right? So a lot of uh, a lot of chars after you dodge this, after you dodge an unblockable, you can get the guard break right there, right? But with Black Pryor, you cannot, right? You have the pseudo, right? You can undodgeable or light. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna dodge my unblockable and go for the GB. She can't un she can't dodge my unblockable because she's shit. <laughs> There it is! There's the guard break, right? I can light. There's no GB vulnerability on that motherfucker right there. Now, I thought a lot of people knew this. I gotta keep it a stack. But she told me, well, she, I know she did, and she's like rep 500 or something. But yeah, if you guys didn't know, if you're ever fighting a, if you're ever fighting a Black Prior, if you're ever fighting a Black Prior, and you dodge is unblockable, do not go for the guard break, alright? He, he can follow up with a light. Or he can follow up with uh, an undodge uh, undodgeable. I think he can follow up with flip too. Let me see. No, no flip. Only light or undodgeable. So you can't GB if your dodge is unblockable. Tip number ten. Make sure, uh, be sure to like the video, comment down below, and uh, subscribe. Okay? Bye bye.